Here I got some nice tools, um, just three of them. It's a Cork Car Oscillator, Car Oscillator Pro. So it's three of them and I tried to check out how to combine one with the other and does it make sense to combine some of them. I could have taken six but I tried with uh, three. They are connected to air synth. You can do something like this here. But I won't need this for this demonstration. It's just a short demonstration and what I found out what I can do. First of all, uh, it's got some plugs on the back here. You got this chinch. Some people uh, say this, this is not convenient. Better would be XLR. But this is mostly what I think is it's for DJs and DJs like to use chinch. So uh, this is okay in a way. Uh, what not, what's not okay to me is that it's only got uh, uh, MIDI in and MIDI out and no MIDI through. And when you want to change chain three of those, uh, MIDI through would be a very nice thing. Um, because then you can say this one could address this one and it will be routed through and this one gets a different MIDI channel so that you can put them in, in sync. One is the master and the others are slaves. I tried to do this uh, via this MIDI out because MIDI out is sometimes multifunctional, it's also MIDI through but then it gets quite complicated to um, program these things and if you, if you go to the menus you have this multifunctional uh, buttons here like this one, you have to press it uh, press one of the menu program memory pads here, uh, hold shift and get to. This is not really what I would like to have if I want to do something live here uh, or just throw in three or six or seven or eight of the, those and put them into a change and uh, uh, sync them with each other. There, there will be people out there who do it but I don't have the, the nerve to do this. Uh, I don't think, think this is really nice. But on the other hand you have this tap tempo thing here where you can tap a tempo in and you can push the program button and you can uh, put in a, a BPM. I put in 120 because most people <laughs> like this 120 uh, beats and uh, then they run in sync really also, also over a long time. This is not really normal. I, I have some equipment here where it's running out of uh, tempo after a while uh, if it's not connected via MIDI clock but this works in a way. So let's give it a try. I'll check some of this here and give you a short impression what it can do and what it might not do out of the box. Hey let's try to manage something. I choose this one for the drums and we start like a record. Press one of those and do a record. And here it goes on and on and on. Then I can take the microphone and choose a different pattern. Take the next one. Another one. So this one is running, and I take a bass. Record. This one is running, take the next one. Let's check something. And after that you can play around with this. You deactivate record, of course, and then you can do like this. these off, switch this off, switch this off and in, your end, in the end you find yourself with badly sung, of course you will, it's bad, but yes, that's it. So somehow it's quite easy to do something like this, it's in, in, uh, in the timing but once I press tempo here, and once I want to get into this, listen what's happening now. It's totally out of time. 
and it's not synced so I can push tempo here. <laughs> it's going crazy. So this is not really very useful for me. But there might be different ways to do this. For one pad it's okay. You can do like... For one pad it's no problem. But to put these pads into sync with this one... What the hell? I can have a look here. The, the tempo is 105.3. Maybe it, ah, it's externally controlled. Here. So, this is what's confusing me. And it would be so nice and easy like you do with other MIDI uh, devices just to sync it. And this thing is the master and these are the slaves and uh, they run in time. And I also found out uh, when I got a rhythm like this, and I have the same tempo on this third one or the, or the second one. There's a latency pressing these buttons here, so I don't get onto uh, uh, on the one in uh, in the measurement. Um, so it's not really possible to switch in on time. That's what I found out here. This is so easy with a Native Instruments Tractor. You have two tunes, and you do these loops and just press, and they're always in time. So the functionality of these things here, uh, because it's synthesis, it's MIDI uh, internal and some samples, but the samples are not running like in Ableton Live, uh, uh, that they have this transients and know exactly where the one is and then you they just switch it on and it's in time. It's not in time. So this is what I don't like about it. What I really like is it's very nicely done the thing here. It's got like, this cool output cool interface, uh, you can do things like this. Uh, what you can't do is, um, if you do something with a voice and pitch and you try to find the exact pitch on here, you really have a hell of a lot of uh, things to do to find the right pitch. So this is also not very uh, well done, uh, especially because I can't put in a MIDI keyboard and play it and then the pitch would be perfect. So it, the sounds can't be controlled by MIDI. I think Cork made it that people don't use it as a synthesizer because the engine of the synth is from the Cork uh, MS2000 or I don't know but, but something like this. So this would make uh, the thing much more valuable so you've got to buy a synth and buy this and then you sync them. Um, all in all um, it's a very nice tool and I respect to Berry Man and uh, guys like him who used it at a, as a looping station, the car uh, uh, Chaos Pad. I think it was not the castle later, and r running all these things in, 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 in the timing. He's doing different machines today, but um, this is a nice starting point to do something with looping, but this setting is not really convenient for doing sync things, so just buy one of those, do some looping, have fun with it, but uh, I would not try to check six or more of those. Uh, that's overkill. That's too hard to get it into sync. Or hopefully somebody is out there is doing a YouTube video and showing you how it's working. For me it was just checking it in a few minutes. Uh, so that's what I found out and now it's on you and have fun with it. Thanks. <laughs>